In this video, we're going to discuss the glue behavior. Uh, okay, so I've set up a really simple little scene. I'm just going to go over here and use this elevator to quickly come up and grab my little health potion. Um, that's the scene. <laughs> There's nothing much to it. and could really come up with a, a good demonstration for glue other than this. So take a look at this column, this elevator thing that has lifted me up to this platform. Notice that this is actually multiple pieces, right? We have the floor, we have a couple walls, we have some ed uh, edge pieces here, we have the bones on top. So it's all kind of one object. And that's because of the glue behavior. Basically all these pieces are going up all at the exact same time, even though they're individual pieces. Let me show you how that's done. All right, so we've seen this before. This is just the elevator behavior on the floor. So I've done a demonstration of that before. Um, and then we have the pieces that surround it, including the, the uh, bones. And all of these have the glue entity uh, behavior attached to it. All of them are referencing the elevator behavior. So by name, what the behavior element is. Notice that it's lowercase. This is intentional. I had a problem where it wasn't recognized it in uppercase. So if it does that to you, just make sure it's lowercase and it should be fine. Now here's the tricky part. Here's the part that I can catch on to right away. If I were to bring this wall up and show the logic links, you would expect all of the objects to be linked to the, the elevator uh, object. But in this case, it doesn't work that way. It's really kind of tricky. Basically the first object, this wall, is logic linked to the platform that has the elevator behavior on it. And then every other object, right? This end cap, this wall, this end cap, this wall and the bones are all independently logic linked to the first wall. So this uh, connects to the platform connects to the first wall and all the other subsequent pieces connect to the first wall. And that's the way it connects together. Don't ask me why, just the way the logic is. Uh, if you tried to like daisy chain it or do anything else, it's not going to work. Um, so make sure you set it up that way. Uh, but that's pretty much everything you need to know about the, uh, the glue behavior. It, uh, you know, there's, there's a couple of different ideas that I had floating around my head about how I might show this ultimately I ended up doing this one. But like one of the other ideas that I had was let's suppose you had a door and that a door had an apartment number on it. Uh, but when you open the door, the apartment number would just, you know, float in air, right? It wouldn't move with the door. So if you were to glue it to the door, when you, when the door swings open, the number would come with it. Uh, so that's just another, you know, idea that I came up with and I kind of kicked those around a little bit and thought this one looked kind of like was better because I had multiple objects glued to it. Uh, incidentally, there is a limitation of nine objects together. So, uh, if you are trying to do more than that, you might want to rethink it because you can only have 10 logic links, uh, anyways. And I think that's the reason why there's a limitation, 10 objects, nine, nine links. Uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, that's it. That's the glue entity behavior explained. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new, please be sure to click the like button down below. Uh, if you're new here, or if you just haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you stick around. Please be sure to subscribe. And lastly, if you'd like a notification for whenever new videos are posted, just click the bell icon and that'll let you know when new videos are ready. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. I always appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, don't forget there's a written guide for every behavior, including ones I haven't yet uh, covered on this channel. And if you want to learn some more, why don't you check out this video next?